Now we will make a new playlist. Go to Playlists and Create New. I'll name this one Jingles, because it is the playlist I will want to tell Centovercast to play Jingles from. Make sure it is enabled and then the type of playlist for my Jingles I need to set to is Interval, because I want to play a Jingle after playing a certain number of songs, in this case 5. And then make sure Randomly Selected Track is chosen too. Save that and your new playlist, albeit currently empty, is formed. Taking a look at the playlist that will play the music you can see, you'll see that the type is General Rotation. Playback order is random and the playback weight can be adjusted so the playlist is heard more or less depending how many other playlists you have active at the same time. As you get adept at using this sent overcast, you'll probably have many playlists for different day parts and features. And remember, you don't always have to have your tracks to play at random, you can set them in sequential order. Great if you're doing a countdown. And you'll see below you can tell Centovacast when to make the playlist active, but that's advanced stuff, maybe for another tutorial. Press save if you made any changes. Now we can add some music tracks. You can do this by using the in-program uploader, which is ideal for just a few files or small updates. Or you can use FTP, and you will find the FTP settings in your quick links under the general heading. To add files using the in-program uploader, you can click on the Launch File Manager or in the Auto DJ section, click on Files. As an example, we'll just make a couple of folders, one for jingles and one for music, but you will end up making many folders for different genres and programming elements. Enter folder name and click Create. Then you need to add your files. Just click on the folder you want to upload to, then click Upload where a file manager box will appear. Click Select Files and go through your folder hierarchy to find your files. In my case, a few jingles I want to load up. Short files such as jingles won't take too long to process and when the process is complete, close the box and you will see your files appear. The next thing we need to do is to link the files into the jingles playlist. To do this I need to click Return, then click the media link, then Options, then Browse by Folders. I choose my jingles folder, then highlight the files I want to put into the playlist. Drag these files over to the jingles playlist and make sure that the playlist highlights, i.e. turns blue as you hold the files over it. If it does not turn blue, the files will not be placed inside, but when you are satisfied it is blue, then simply let go and drop into the playlist. You can then see the running time change and if you click on the playlist you will see the files you placed. Do this step for other folders and tracks that you have set up. You can then start your server. Remember the server will not start in auto DJ mode until you have tracks and playlists enabled. When you have started the server, the red crosses should turn into green ticks, but don't worry if they don't do this straight away, it sometimes takes a few minutes for this to happen. As long as you can see tracks start to be listed in the overview, then you know your server is on air and working. I'll give you a quick demonstration now on how to set up your server so it will be listed on shoutcast.com. Click on Admin located in the Server section, then on the Shoutcast page choose Server Login and use Username, Admin and your Administrator Password. Then choose Create Hothash. You will then see a few boxes that you can change to your own preference. For example, I have Christmas music playing, so I set my genre to Seasonal and Holiday and then Christmas. Change whatever else you need to, then Update. You will then need to log out of that page. When you've done that, you will see that your stream is now public and listed in the Shoutcast directory. Clicking play on the player, you should be able to hear your station. And that is your basic guide to getting started with Auto DJ in Centovercast.